It's Billy's Vlogs. morning I have not talked to you in a few days I took a clip yesterday but I didn't actually say good morning guys but today's Tuesday yesterday obviously was Monday I took a clip of Gigi in the water so today a few things are happening mom and myself are going to uh, donate some coffees to the local chemist and um, we are hopefully getting a skip today to clear out our back garden finally once and for all. So it's currently, what time is it? It is, is it 12? Uh, Half 12, quarter past 12? Quarter past 12, yeah. Well. And uh, no, we're going crushing, huh? All right, anyways, I shall talk to you soon. Mwah. Okay, it's taking a video now, supposedly. Hello, Gigi. Oh my god, it's bad quality. Hey guys, how are you doing? Found this camcorder in the... crap. It's bad quality, but I mean... I'm not paying it up. So cool. Wide memory card will not work in it. One second, let's just put this side to side. So this is me with the little new camcorder. It's not new, it's old, but... One second now. Is it working? Side by side. How would you print it is? <laughs> what did it do for me? Back on my own camera, the better, better quality. Anyways, I'm out in the garden. Our skip came, came a good, maybe hour or two ago. So mum has been cleaning out one of the presses and has thrown most of the stuff in. We have the couch <laughs> the garden on the sunny Tuesday afternoon. And uh, Gigi has fallen in love with her new toy, haven't you? Your new toy. Not really bothered. It's too warm, isn't it? It's too warm. It's too warm. Yes. Didn't want that breathing all in my face, did I? Uh, I think she's fed up of it already. I found this little um, tripod. It's tiny in that bag with the camcorder. Um, I probably won't be able to stand up properly. Oh, it does. Oh, it's quite good. Oh, there's a guy going up with a lot more. A ride along lawnmower in the back of a um, trailer so that's the crack right now anyways it's a lovely lovely day I'm not sure of what degrees it is it has to be about 20 or something like that and bring the lighter in but um yeah it's lovely money for that in the garden so this is the little tripod it's up on this thing that's really low ground up <laughs> if I stand up it just doesn't work but it's good for holding. I'm upstairs now. I have to put away this mess on my bed because we clear we I cleared the, the spare room. The mattress has been taken off this messy bed on mum's summer clothes, socks, and I don't know what that's about. And um, I cleared all the crap that well, I'm saying all the crap, it was the bed that was put up here that is going into the skip as well so this room will look so much bigger when this mess is cleared but I have to do the mess in my bedroom so I'm quite hungry now 
it's half two like i haven't eaten since half nine this morning i had a good night like a, an omelette and that so it helped me until now I'm quite hungry so this mess might just have to wait and i just throw it on the ground <laughs> oh man i just did a workout i did it the hip hop tabata because today was meditation and i ate a lot of crap yesterday so i decided that i would um do a workout i'm dripping and red in some parts of my face <laughs> um went for a walk this morning with mum and then i decided that i was going to do the workout like this <laughs> so uh it's just done now and i'll do my meditation later um look at this oh man can you see that sweat like a tear duct <laughs> like not a duct a tear tear anyway goodbye i need to breathe oh this is the skip fall <laughs> it's a wet day today we're going to go down for a walk to the park at this new little um, place. If you're wondering what it is, you probably know what it is anyways if you're from Ballina. But this used to be the old swimming pool years ago when my mum was a young girl. So um, they've cleared all this part out and created a little place for people to come and hang out. So it's lovely. Gigi loves it down here. She loves drinking out of the river out of the water she she doesn't really like the water too much but <laughs> she likes it my watermelon ukulele came i made the first incision and opening it and i thought quick get the camera so oh, here we go a lot of paper is used it's the same boxes same coloured box as when I got my saxophone. It's the same kind. She's not lined, but she's not that heavy either. So. Sorry, that was quite loud. It's a bit out of my mouth. I'm going to see, can you see? Now, we've got a bit of solid hip here. Here. Oh, another one down here at the bottom. You know, gear for music, your logo is there. Would you like to donate me a um, free concert? You can <gasps> Look at this. Oh, guys, that's the cutest thing I've seen. 
seen since Christmas. Can't wait to get it up and running. I'll take it out of the plastic to show you first. Oh, oh ukulele. Obviously it's out of tune, but I'm going to tune it up. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it smells so good and it feels so good. Oh, don't worry, blue Luke, Luke, Lily, blue ukulele, you're still going to get used. Don't you worry, okay. Oops, boxing guard. I'm gonna tune it up and I'll show you then what it's like when I play it. Oh my god, it was so focused two minutes ago. Focus. <laughs> Hello? No. No. so different in the blue one. Guys, I think I got a colour on my face yesterday. Like, my face looks a little browner. You probably won't notice anyways, but you might, because I've been pale for a hot minute. Um, did I say good morning this morning? I don't know, I cannot remember, but I remember the first clip. Anyways, was me showing you the, the skip. Um, it was supposed to be collected today, but instead it's going to be collected tomorrow morning. So I'm just moving chairs, because I decided to tidy the kitchen. Now yesterday we got a dishwasher, our old dishwasher broke. So we got a new one. This is her hair. And I'm just waiting for that cycle to stop. It's um, basically just a salt wash. Um, the hardness of the water or something, it's leveling with that. So I have to wait till that's finished. Then this load of washing has to go in. Then I have to pull everything out when I was reading the instructions. So anyways, it's besides the point. But I decided if you've ever seen my kitchen before, I don't know, but this was where the old dishwasher was. Now this dishwasher, I don't know, it's more long rather than wide compared to the other one. The other one was a little bit wider on top. Um, but yeah, that's there and it doesn't have as much room. So we put the new um, air fryer there oh my arm i did a work i did my yoga today my arms are just like oh, it was a lot on the arms anyways yeah the air fryer is there the fruit and i changed the big fruit bowl to a small bowl because we don't have much um open fruit only bananas an orange and two lemons um whereas the rest of the fruit is in packaging so that's there and i put the bang and i put the toaster here and all the bread products and the butter here obviously this is the sink area that needs redoing just move these out of the way that should be there. <laughs> just put that on the table um yeah so then we have this area here we have our tea so tea sugar that's hand sanitizer didn't want to put that in the window because it says it's flammable so in case it's the sun hits it at a certain degree i don't know then we have our milk frother our um grinder for our coffee we have this because this is obviously for the pan and <laughs> stuff like that then we have eggs here honey in case you wanted honey instead of shukra and then we have our wayne scales the wayne scales is for the um coffee in case we wait because sometimes it's nicer to wait because it's e it's nicer to drink. Um, then we have our pan area. These have to go out to the utility room. Fridge, dog food, and um, fridge. And it's not a fridge. Uh, one has to go into the fridge, so one has dog food. So you get me, anyways. But I moved the spice rack to the back of the cooker because it, um, it just took up too much space right there where I now have the coffee stuff. And with it being there, it's not going to direct the the flame from the 
uh, stove is not going to directly hit it so it's fine there and it's out of the way I put the oils over here and obviously the kettle is always there and um, yeah I'm just still waiting now it hasn't made a noise in the last two or three minutes but I'm gonna wait till that pause button um, goes dark because um, I think that's when it uh, stops so then the table in the middle of the kitchen I have oh now she's off again doesn't matter I'm probably just doing a little rinse now I'd say but I put the big fruit bowl here with the tomatoes and peppers that's what we had then we have our flowers and the two candles ashtray can another candle and our little pouches for our tobacco the little boxes but purses yeah so that's basically everything that's exciting today apart from the fact that mum and I went to Lidl's and I bought the shop and then it was like 90 euro well we did get a little, like a good bit of stuff I um, got some nuts some dark chocolate I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my hardest to eat dark chocolate I am not a dark chocolate person um, never have been but it's the only thing I'm going to allow myself what's that in my hair oh it's crumb now she's finished Right, I'll be back in a minute and I'll talk to you then. Now everything is gone in. Everything here is nice and tidy now. I gave it a good little scrubbing with the uh, cloth obviously. And um, and that, yeah, so we got a lot in little, a lot of food, avocados, tomatoes, um, corn crackers, <laughs> cornbread. <laughs> it's not cornbread, it's a cor corn cakes. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, eggs honey um strawberries everything like loads of um foods so as i mentioned we got dark chocolate and i said that i am not a big dark chocolate person i don't particularly like dark chocolate um my favorite type of chocolate is white and technically white chocolate isn't even chocolate because there's not actually enough cocoa in it to actually call it chocolate but it's branded as white chocolate but um dark chocolate is supposed to be way better for you because there's less fat in it fat in it which is milk and that's the part that makes it a fattening because the cocoa mixed with the milk it just gives it some type of you know thing i think so when i was doing the yoga she gives tips every day and the tip she gave on day two or day day one or day two i can't remember was if you feel like something sweet you should have chocolate but the chocolate should be dark chocolate obviously and it should be 70 percent or more um 70 percent of cocoa so i got 70 percent of two different types of co uh, cocoa chocolate to show you they got them in a little and um Little has a, a like a good range of um, dark chocolate, but um, everything that has like we'd say, Mum got one with orange, I think, in it, and hers is only fifty six percent, whereas mine is seventy. So I got this one, which is the JD Gross or Grouse, I don't know. Um, Little's chocolate. And I got this the same brand, but it's Madagascar dark chocolate. So if I feel like anything sweet tonight, I may just try a square of either one of those. But I have it in the freezer, and you're probably wondering, like, why do you have chocolate in the freezer? Why would you not just put it in the fridge? Well, another tip that girl that does the yoga gave was to put it in the freezer because to, like you're not really supposed to eat loads of dark chocolate either literally one or two squares is the max really you're supposed to be eating but like if I took out the bar of chocolate from the fridge it's still cold don't get me wrong but because it comes out of the freezer it takes ages to melt in your mouth so if I was to take one square from the freezer via one square from just room temperature 
it would last longer so that's why it's in the freezer so i'm going to go in and accompany mum i might actually call her out and see what she thinks of the new kitchen because my eyes look so um brown don't they am i attractive to you don't know where i got that anyways why good evening i know it's quite oh i know it's quite dark in my room let's see if i put this little lamp on will it do much of a difference we should see I, i'll come back Okay, it made nothing really, just a little bit. But I'm relaxing now, I'm in my room. It is just going on 10 past nine. And I have to say, I'm proud of myself today for what I have done. Today I could have easily, right, let me tell you the story. I'll have to put my light on, it'll be way easier. Okay, it's gonna take a minute to adjust because I look really perfect right now. <laughs> but um, today was the day that I usually um, would weigh in. So this day last week, I got my weighing scales and I weighed myself. As I said, didn't want to tell what I weighed. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable enough just yet to tell, um, to tell you guys, but Today was a week later after all my exercising and partially. When I say partially eating healthy, I mean I wasn't being careful. I ate, not that I ate what I wanted, I wasn't snacking as much, but I was still eating like we'd say a good bit of butter on my toast, like a big lump of butter on my toast. Um, lots of sauce beside my uh, homemade potato chips. Um, when I say potato chips, I mean spud chips, as in chips. <laughs> I don't know, the fries, whatever. And, um, oh my back's itchy. So, yeah, I wasn't being careful. Because I was exercising, I thought, you know, well, it's, it's going to account for some of what... Oh, gosh, I need to itch my back. It's going to account for some things that I've eating you know the the I don't know how to explain it but by me eating partially healthy and exercising I thought it would work the same as just eating really clean and not exercising so obviously I was wrong um I weighed myself on the Friday I remember saying that I was I'm gonna have to block that out <sighs> that I'd lost three pounds and the three pounds that I had lost, I don't know how that worked the following day. So I had weighed myself on the Friday. So today when I weighed myself, I was, we'd say two pounds heavier than it said on the Friday last week. And then after a few, piddles to the bathroom I went back to the same weight I was on Friday of last week which made me feel happy but all in all that would have meant that I had lost three pounds from the beginning of last week to the end of this week um I will be I will weigh myself in the morning after we we'll say about 11 o'clock after I do my yoga and everything like that, walks and stuff, just to uh, make sure that the body is up and functioning rather than just going on the weighing scale straight away. But um, because of last Friday being the day that I weighed myself, I just want to confirm for myself to see if it's the same circumstances. If not, I will quit the Friday weighing and I will only do it on Thursday. But anyways, that's the story about that. Today should have been my treat day. So today would have been the day that I stood on the scales and went, wow, I lost two pounds or three pounds. And I could have had some type of treat today, like we'd say a drink, a glass of wine or a can of um, Coca-Cola or like the real can, real Coke not the diet stuff like I have to drink now <laughs> or um, I could have had like a slice of cake or 
stuff like that you don't need that i really don't need that i have had been having that during the week and that's why i haven't moved on the scales much so it kind of gave me a boom like in the face so now what i have to do is just eat clean um when i say eat clean i mean not eating like stuff that like cakes and buns and bars of chocolate and bags of crisps and you know just eating healthier which i thought i was doing but obviously it was literally just breakfast um my breakfast was quite healthy my i had my smoothie and then i'd have like sugar-free beans i'd have toast and like f rashers but i did have to fatten them so now i have to change that up um, but it wouldn't be much like and I'd have some tomatoes on the side and some scrambled egg like that was healthy Whereas my lunch could be more bread a big sandwich, you know and putting like loads of mayonnaise on or butter so that has to change um, And that's what I mean by eating clean not piling lots of food like for today for my breakfast i had two eggs scrambled and two slices of uh, wholemeal bread with butter obviously and then for my lunch i had uh three pickles three small little pickles i know you're probably like ew pickles but no hear me out i like pickles um four cherry tomatoes uh four slices of cheese I cut it myself, like, not big four big squares, four um, cuts of cheese, um, two large strawberries, I know it sounds weird, um, a handful of pistachio nuts, unsalted ones, and um, what else? Oh yeah, one slice of homemade uh, brown bread with um, a slither of butter. It was one slice that I tried to cut so thinly into two slices, but it didn't work out. But it was still nice, I still ate it. Um, and that was my lunch. And then for my dinner, I had a, a burger, a turkey burger. And instead of having chips, I had a salad. So I made that dinner for mum and myself this evening. Um, it's quarter past nine. I've been recording for like 10 minutes straight now, but this is going to lengthen my length, lengthen my vlog and um, As I said, it's quarter past nine now. So I had dinner about two hours ago And this is the time of night where I start to get peckish But I have a glass of water beside me in case that happens plus I'm full of um, Full of beans tonight. I mean full of energy and um, that's probably why I'm vlogging for this long. Anyways, another point I wanted to make. The dark chocolate that I bought today in Lidl's. I tried one square. Like one square is like 30 calories I think or something like that. I'm not sure. It's only like 10 grams for one, one square. Did I say slice? I had one square. Anyways, a square is about 10 grams. And... I have to say I really actually enjoyed it. It took the edge off. I had that at like eight. Um, it took the edge off. It's a quite a big square. If you know what 10 grams is. But it's quite a big square. Usually if that was like white chocolate. I'd have to have like six or seven squares. But with the dark chocolate. It's so overpowering. That you don't actually need. Six or seven squares. So yeah, I had, a, I had the 10 grams square of chocolate, cut it kind of into like four little pieces and added it away, which was lovely. Okay, well, good night and I shall talk to you maybe tomorrow Friday. And um, I may end my vlog tomorrow because I'm um, not sure what I'm doing on Saturday. Because like guys, I've been at home doing nothing this past week, only... Um, Doing my exercising and relaxing. Only that I cleaned the kitchen today and went for to the shop. I can't really bring it to the shop. I don't want to be bringing my camera out with me shopping. It's not really appropriate at this time. Um, 
but hopefully I could maybe end this vlog tomorrow and I may post a video of a cover of me maybe singing a ukulele song instead of um, making this vlog really long. Anyways, this is going on for 10 minutes. Goodbye. Good morning. Today is Friday and today is the 9th, oh no, the 8th of May. Um, I woke up this morning at around half past six because no it was actually not it was a bit earlier so we'd say it was about quarter past or we'd say 20 past six um went out to the bathroom came back into bed decided i'd love to fall back asleep but Gigi started barking to get up um or to get outside and i was like oh god Gigi, please it's like literally way too early but it gets so bright at like six o'clock now so and because we don't have any curtains or blinds or anything in the kitchen it's like she knows it's time to get up so anyways oh, I went down the stairs around quarter to seven um and let the dogs out and made my coffee made mum's coffee and if you're wondering why you're like, Billy, why are you making your coffee, your mum's coffee? Well, I drink a different coffee in the morning than mum does at the moment. Anyways, I uh, nearly finished my coffee now. It is coming up to 10 to 8 the morning. Just ran by so, so fast. It flew the morning. Because like it's almost 8 o'clock now and I felt like I didn't do anything i haven't had my breakfast yet but um not sure if i'm going for a walk not sure if i'm going to do my yoga like just yet um so yeah that's the story there just feel weird how the morning has just flew by like if you don't it's 10 to 8 like nearly and i'm up since like 20 past six. I suppose when you sit down and relax and have a cup of coffee, the morning does fly. And I've drank a cup of water, so I've that much gone in the that, and I still have that glass there to drink. So I will get to drink that. I might get to drink like maybe two and a half liters today. I'm not sure. So it's way easier to drink water in the morning. Anyways, I'm going to go. And if I'm going for a walk, then I go for a walk. There's no point bringing you because I brought you guys yesterday. Um, and, um, yeah. Um, quickly before I go on to my next part to end the vlog, I just wanted to say that the skip is gone. Finally. Oh, Netflix the skip is finally gone out of the garden so we have a free range to move up and down the driveway now so um if you knew what that looked like from the beginning of this vlog or whatever day it was then you'll know um now it's clear it's gone finito okay now guys so I had a shower oh <laughs> I'm trying to sit down I have a long skirt on me uh, I'm trying to sit in the chair working now anyways i've had a shower uh i didn't wash my hair but it looks washed i uh dampened it down put the detangling spray in and came to true as per usual but anyways i think i'm going to end this weekly vlog here if anything exciting happens tomorrow it'll be in next week's vlog or if anything exciting happens this evening it'll be in next week's vlog it is currently quarter to two in the afternoon I had a smoothie for breakfast, don't know if I told you that, but um, a blueberry, pineapple, raspberry, um, banana, blueberry, pineapple, yeah, a banana and peach and mango yogurt um, smoothie. And then a little bit later on, about half past 11, I had some two eggs scrambled, um, so, so scrambled egg and toast. So that was it, and I wrote out my little weight loss journal and 
there's writing in there and stuff like that i will promise i will show you in time um but right now i don't feel comfortable telling you so uh, i hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to come back for more you know what i mean because i mean some weeks are more boring than others and some weeks are really interesting um so i hope you enjoyed it um don't forget that i love you Mwah. don't forget to keep positive and i'll see you see you next week with another vlog bye, -bye. Mwah. that was a chance <laughs>